1071theticket.com. The following is a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Core Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We have a panel this morning. We've got Alex Nafusi, Capital Mortgage, Harry Glantz, Capital Mortgage, and Dan Dubinsky with Skyward Realty, downtown Royal Oak. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. We got our morning, guy back, somebody. Dan Dubinsky. He's, he's, is he part of our panel? He's just one of our guys. He's one of our regulars, our he's, regular realtor. Yeah, yeah, he's a regular guy. And uh, I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you see Dan Dubinsky, you just got to, he's one of those guys that just makes you. You know, just feel better, the positive energy. Every time you see him, it's a positive thing, even though it's nine degrees it's outside. Like a gigolo. Six. Hey, I appreciate it. Well, I, what I really liked today is you gave the tallest guy in the house here the tallest seat in the house. <laughs> Holy moly, what are you on a stool? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to feel shorter. That's why I put that in your he, It's no January worries, 18, 2014. Again, everyone listening, welcome to the show. We're going to take your phone calls up till 10 o'clock all day long here on 97 1, of course. 248-539-9797. There's a lot going on, obviously, in the world of mortgages and real estate. Uh, Dan, it's great to have you in, always giving us the vibe of what's going on in Royal Oak. And that Royal Oak sort of gives us the whole vibe of Oakland County. Tons of people out there still wanting to buy that that great, great house. We've been talking about it over 2013, the lack of inventory. We're seeing a lot of new construction out there. What are you seeing lately? What's been going on over here the last few weeks? Well, you know, what we're doing, a lot of these people that bought in Royal Oak, the condos, they're, they're moving on with their life. They're having kids and moving out. They're either going to Birmingham. They're following the school systems is what they're doing. Uh, we're finding Rochester Hills. We just listed a home on, uh, on Monday. Had 27 showings in four days. We had an over-asking price, and we listed this. We listed this aggressively, we thought, um, and so we had we had uh, multiple offers. What we decided to do was take someone that was strong, a lot of money down, and had them waive the appraisal. Now, they couldn't waive the appraisal completely, but they waived it down to a number that they were comfortable with. Oh, I like so, that. Yeah, so now we've got creative. We, uh, we have protected our seller to the point where, hey, if appraisal comes in bad, we have a little bit of cushion, and it's, I think it's going to work out well. The buyer's got a, a great situation. got a nice family home in Rochester. I think there's some friends there. And uh, it's a win-win both both ways. But isn't that really the key to any transactions, the communication that uh, the representative for the seller has with the representative of the buyer, and they communicate and they make the deal work? Isn't that really what you see? The best transactions are always built on communication. Well, you know, a lot of people think uh, you're in this business, you're against each other, adversarials. And, uh, you know, that's exactly opposite of what you want to do. You're 100% correct here. You want to work together. And that's what we found here. If you have multiple offers, we want to leverage that to our to for, for my client, the seller. The buyer wants to make sure they get the house. So we go to them and we say, hey, you got an absolutely fabulous offer here. Um, and our, our, our seller even says, hey, you know, should we even rock the boat and try to get more? Well, and we're not trying to get more. All we're doing is protecting them if, for some reason, we get a bad The reason table. why I like having you on the air, and I like referring my clients to Skyward, is, you know, like, Dan, obviously you're my friend, and I, and I trust you and all that, but I think it takes... It takes a lot of nerve to to tell someone you know like like Stacey and I we you know we love that house. I'm not we won't reference what it was. You know which one it yep, was. Yep, you you, you do. checked it out. Right. I mean, I'm telling you, man. We add, we were like we want this house. We're gonna do it. I mean, Dan sat me down literally, and he was like, dude, you're gonna lose your you know what if you buy this house. I'm telling you right now, you think it's good. He's like, I'm telling you, there, there's problems with it. You're you know it's it's it's. What did you say? It's pieced together. It was it, it was well, an older was, home, and it was a, it was a nice home to begin with, but then they added on like probably. Two or three times, and now you have a combination of gas force air heat. Uh, you have uh, hot water heat. You have a bunch of uh, different things that don't flow together. Not the right house. No, no. And remember, we're, I'm in this business for a long time. I'm for the my, it's my career, so I expect him to be a seller of that house five, six, seven years down the line. And when he goes to sell it, we're gonna have a problem selling it. You know how many realtors would have walked Stacey and I through that house and been like, "Great, well, this I, is the greatest house ever." <laughs> I think that's the basis for any business relationship is the fact that if you're thinking long term. All right, just be honest. Just disclose everything that's going on. And, uh, you know, you talk about that you had a great closing with Dan and, and, you know, you're working with Skyward and all that. You know, there are plenty of closings that I go to where, you know, we had a tremendous closing this past week where, remember that day that it snowed and people are going crazy? It took you sure. two hours to get yeah, the whole places. World, the whole world shut down because it was our exactly. first snow ever yeah, in Michigan. You, you mean Death yeah. Storm 2014? Yeah. All right, well, you know what? So, you know, it's tough to get there on time. You have a closing, but you have a transaction that took a very, very long time due to one thing or another. Mm -hmm. But everybody at the closing, you know, knew what was going on. The seller had to give some seller concessions. Uh, the seller was happy. The buyers were happy. The realtors were happy. The transaction took a long time because, because of whatever reasons. 
That's Appraisals just... had to get transferred, but but everybody was in constant communication the entire time. And uh, I met this uh, the seller, and this guy couldn't have been a better seller. Nice guy, easygoing guy. And it, the reason for the transaction was his realtor had a great relationship with him and in turn talked him through the entire transaction. The buyer was a very qualified buyer. The transaction just took longer than usual because of, there are certain things that happen. And then on top of it, the day of the closing is Death Storm 2014. I like the direction this morning. We're talking about positive. a lot of good stuff. It's, it's, all, it's all positive. positive. It's talking about how we're going to put some transactions together. And we know it's going to be gangbusters busy coming up here in the spring. We're only 30, 60 days away from families making offers. We're going to talk a lot about this. 248-539-9797. Also call Capital Mortgage all day long, all weekend long. We have people in the office all day long there at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. We'll talk about approvals and that whole process. Process. But first, we've got our first caller this morning. We've got uh, out in Westland, John. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Hello. Good morning, morning, John. John. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, if you think now is a good time uh, with houses going up in value uh, to build a spec home. To build a spec home, like you're going to build it and then sell it? Yeah. You think there's any profit in it yet? Well, do you have, uh, first of all, I mean, I want to jump in here. First of all, I mean, do you have experience doing that? And what's the location of the house you're looking to build? I have built a house before. Okay. And uh, um, and I'm in that business. So um, I'm a tile guy, but, uh, but, but you, I have a builder's license. And, and you know all the um, subcontractors, and, and you can hook that up. I'm sorry? And you know all the subcontractors, you can hook that up, right? Uh, yeah, I think I can get a deal, you know, here and there. And Danny, then, what do you think on it, buddy? Uh, here, here's, you hit it on the head. It's the location, for right. one. Um, two years ago, you were building spec homes in Royal Oak or Birmingham. Now they're popping up everywhere, and they're selling within a couple days at 180, 190 square foot, which is what is unheard of. But you go south into Hazel Park, they're not building anything. Right. There are two things, two equations. How much you pick up the land for and two is is the, are the, is the area selling? So you have to get someone who's a, a local realtor find out if they're moving in that area. What area are you thinking of selling? Did you say? Or building? Building? building. Yeah. John, what area are you going to be thinking about, buddy? Say that again. What, what area, area are you going to build? Are you build them, bro. Westland. Well, I work I work a lot in Ann Arbor, but I I know Nova is pretty good. So in that area, I don't, I'm not I'm a West Sider, so Th- those areas, from what I understand, are, are pretty hot right now. You'd have to uh, locate a uh, a realtor in that area and find out what what sure. they're moving for, and then you work your way back with the numbers and see if it makes yeah, financial sense. Yeah, land is expensive. For well, yeah, right. in those areas, certainly. I need a tile guy. Thanks, John, for the Thanks, call John. this morning. We'll write your number down and keep that handy. I guess to answer his question specifically, I mean, do, do I think it's a good time to build? Yeah, of course yes. I do. I mean, I, I think that the, the inventory is very low. I think if you know what you're doing and you have the, the financial wherewithal, you know, to put a house together and, and the contractors and subcontractors and whatever to do that, yeah, I think it's a great time to do it, yeah. man, because there's really, there's nothing on the market. Our, our builders are making 25% return on their money right now. Yeah, that's what they're looking to do. Definitely a shortage there. there. A little bit of a low, though, applications for uh, purchase of newly constructed homes were down again in December, declining 11% from November. And then in November, they were down 18% from October. I think it was just a sort of a regional and a seasonal type thing. You got to put the holes in the ground. There's no doubt that there's a lack of great homes out there. We talk so often with all the families and the pre-approved buyers coming to our office. And they're not just not finding those great houses out there. This is going to be a real interesting year. It, all the last, well, the last 20 years have been interesting. But this year particularly, with appreciation starting to move up, Dan, we're going to get some sellers to sell their homes, and then they'll be in competition with some of the newer houses out there. But that should free up some homes, and hopefully everyone will be stepping up, become a step-up buyer, let's say. Well, when you talk about people are thinking about listing their home now or listing their home in the spring, naturally more people are listing their home in, in the springtime. But the people looking right now, they're not tire kickers. They're serious. They're not going to go out in the snow and stuff. They're really serious buyers. They're either being transferred in, and you know that person is not, not uh, you know, there to just see what the neighborhood, what their decoration looks like. They are a real buyer. Well, currently, Dan, with the lack of inventory on the market, even in the spring, okay, quality homes are going to sell fast because the demand's fast. Mm-hmm. So we talk about it on the show every week, you know, Al- Alex, uh, Harvey, and I say, could there be a housing bubble, Okay. Is it ready to pop? I, I don't see that because of the lack of homes on the market in certain areas and the lack of quality homes, and that's why they're going very, very fast. I see 2012 was a, it was the best year. If I had to rank 2012, 13, and 14, 12 by far because of how suppressed the market was the previous five years. Okay, so it was a tremendous market in 2012. 13, last year followed up with a very strong market. I think you're going to have another strong market in 14. It's already shaping up for that. 
Yeah, it, it is. I, my job is to, to keep an eye on the trends and where the market's going. We saw a little bit of a dip in November. Less buyers out there. Prices went down just slightly at the selling prices, not the asking prices. But now uh, uh, we're going to, I truly believe we're going to see come springtime, they're going to go up and continue to go up through the summer. So appreciation, Harvey, like you said, it's, it's, it's on its way back up. And there are tremendous opportunities out there for people that are staying in their house. You know, there, there is equity in the house right now. And again, you talk about the difference between good debt and bad debt, right? Toxic debt, credit card debt, revolving debt, anything that you're paying 18, 20% interest on. If you do have equity in your house, and this isn't a, 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 you know, this isn't a new tip, but if you do have, ec- you know, equity in your home, you should look to leverage that equity if you're going to stay a long time and get rid of that toxic debt in your life. Great segue. We're going to talk about debt consolidation and refinancing your home as mortgage rates still move lower for the second day in a row. It's actually pretty exciting stuff out there. Rates still at all-time lows. Call them 40-year lows now. Uh, rates similar to where they were maybe, I don't know, six weeks ago. Some discrepancies in the marketplace based on closing costs. Rates anywhere ranging from 45 to 5% on the 30-year amortization loans, of course. The, all sorts of different adjustments. As you know, Alex, it's based on credit score. What loan are you getting? Is it a HARP loan? Many different... Uh, it's pretty black and white now. Variables. Yes. 248-539-9797. We got a great show lined up for you. Come on back and join us. It's the Outlet Show, the RV Outlet Show, the huge RV Outlet Show and Sale, and it's your chance to see what's new and save big. It's a lot of fun, so bring the whole family this Friday through Sunday to the Macomb Community College Expo Center. This show has been the big one for years, and this time, even more brands will be there with even better deals. This truly is the place to get a wholesale price on motorhomes, trailers, and fifth wheels. See the newest ultralight trailers that can be towed by almost any vehicle, and all the latest motorhome floor plans. The Expo Expo Center will be stuffed wall-to-wall with RVs, and you can walk through all the models. Check it out online at RVOutletShow.com and download a dollar-off entry coupon. You'll save thousands right from the manufacturers on motorhomes, trailers, and fifth wheels. Your local dealer will be fighting for your business. Lenders will have the lowest rates anywhere. And with great factory rebates, you'll save thousands on the RV of your dreams. The huge RV Outlet Show is happening this Friday through Sunday at the Macomb Community College Expo Center, 12 Mile and Hayes in Warren. Thinking of waiting until spring to list your home? Don't. This is Realtor Jeff Glover. Right now, we have more homes for sale today than we had last spring. And you know what that means? The longer you wait to get into the market, the less your home will be worth. But don't just take it from me. I'm Dennis King. And I'm Haven King. I heard the advertisement for Jeff Glover, and we gave him a call. He put our house on the market on a Monday. On Tuesday, we had 10 showings. The house sold in one week. Jeff, hands down, is one of the best. We'd recommend Jeff to anybody who's looking to sell a home in today's market. Homeowners who sell their homes with Jeff get an average of 98% of their asking price and sell their homes in an average of 23 days. Call Jeff Glover today at 855 Jeff Sells. Whether your home is in Novi, Shelby Township, Brighton, Birmingham, Clarkston, or Ann Arbor, Jeff Glover will get it sold. Call Jeff at 855 Jeff Sells or online at 855 Jeff Sells.com. Realtor Jeff Glover. A house sold name. Jeff Glover is affiliated with Keller Williams Realty. Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Capital Mortgage Funding is a proud division of United Shore Financial Services, NML. Last number 3038, equal housing lender. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. What if I told you you could reverse diabetes and stop taking your diabetes medication? If you or someone you care about has diabetes or pre-diabetes, Barton Publishing has created a free video you need to watch. You may have heard about this. It's all over the internet. 66bloodsugar.com. People who have followed this plan at 66bloodsugar.com reportedly have not only normalized their blood sugar, but have stopped taking their diabetes meds completely with their doctor's approval. 66bloodsugar.com is a natural, drug-free approach to reversing diabetes with remarkable results in as little as four weeks. 66bloodsugar.com will save you from being a slave to doctor-prescribed drugs. It's easy. 66bloodsugar.com gives you three specific actions to get your blood sugar under control. And the best part is the main ingredient and solution is a common spice found in most kitchens. Watch the free video for yourself at 66bloodsugar.com. Watch for free at 66bloodsugar.com. Get back the quality of your life and free yourself from diabetes medications at 66bloodsugar.com. 
The Build a Better Bath event is now at the Home Depot. So let's flush the old toilet and replace it with the new American Standard Champion Elongated Toilet. Higher performance means more powerful flushes. It doesn't take a back seat to anyone. And right now, it's only $199, a savings of $39. Let's do this at the Build a Better Bath event going on now. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. U.S. only while supplies last. 24 seconds. 24 seconds bar and grill in Berkeley is the place to be for everything sports. Catch all the football playoffs this weekend and watch all your favorite teams with great specials all day, every day. 24 seconds in Berkeley. 24secondsbar.com. The basketball team that Detroiters love most. The Detroit Pistons live here. Show. Till 10 o'clock, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funny, a 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Of course, we always take your calls here at 97.1, the ticket, 248-539-9797. We've got a great panel, Alex Nafusi, Harry Glanz, Harvey Freed from Capital Mortgage, and none other than Dan Dubinsky from Skyward Realty, and downtown that, Royal Oak. And that bumper music couldn't be more apropos, right? Riding the storm out, I like that, riding the storm out. That was sweet. D- despite it being 9 degrees outside, I, I'm really digging... You know, I love when you come in, Dan, and I feel like everything's good. I just want to, I want to throw out like the, the, the buyer beware segment real quick. I took a call from a client on Tuesday regarding a, a refinance. I said, "Yeah, no problem. I'll check it out for you." So, as you guys know, the a mortgage is public; it's public record, and anybody can pull your mortgage, Harvey, Harry, Danny. I mean, and it'll say you got your mortgage through Capital Mortgage Funding, which and, they're not supposed which, to list our name on a solicitation. I know, I by know the way. but that's the thing, and, and it, it looks like. It looks like it's from us, and and this client is a great guy. He's a smart dude. He's a, he's a, he's a, a triage nurse, so obviously you know he, he's you know, he, he's a smart guy. He gets this thing. It looks like it's from us. It's some note modification scam that's got the capital mortgage funding return address, and it's on like the piece of paper has like an eagle over the American flag, whatever. So this guy hustles him into doing a, a note modification. Tells him you can skip three payments. Oh boy, and, and get the payment down. That's what he tells them. The guys are like, okay. I mean, I, I, I'd like to think there would be a little more common sense involved if someone said, hey, you can skip three payments. You'd right. maybe call me and check it out first. Right. He didn't call you before he did this. No. Okay. Of course not, dude. Great. So, so he goes 90 days down. The house is in foreclosure. And then, he, oh, we, we do a modification now. So, I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't do anything. You know, they, I mean, they, he did get you know, a modification, but, you know, he's got a 619 credit score. He's got, you know, a redeemed foreclosure. I mean, absolute mess. Just I, I, I can't stress enough that, you know, you don't deal with strangers. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I, I mean, just and don't, walk, I mean, don't walk that plank by yourself. Yeah, I mean, no it, doubt. It, it takes you two minutes to call me. And say, hey, man, you know, you got to make your phone calls, do your homework and call the person that you had the relationship with before. All right. Just call them up and say, hey, listen, hey, Alex, I got this in the mail. Did this come from your this company? Come from you? No, it didn't come from us, but it has your name on it. Yeah. Well, the attorney general of the state of Michigan would like to know those things. So I would like to get a copy of that and send it in and see what happens. But it, it, it's going on all the time. It's still going on. If, if, if it has an American flag or it looks official, has a, some kind of crest, people think it is official right. for some reason. You got to use common sense. Folks. We might even talk about common sense later in the show today. Hey, look, buyers are still using, Dan, as you know, a variety of resources in searching for new homes. Uh, the Internet's been great. Great. You know, it gives you a lot of great information. But at the end of the day, they did a research on this. Nine out of ten, of course, of the buyers. You love the Internet, Harvey. Finally get uh, yeah, easy, Alex. <laughs> finally get in contact with you, Dan, a, a realtor, a professional realtor to get in the houses because you can just gather information on the Internet and get some research done. But you got to get in there. It's a great tool. Um, you know, people come in and say, hey, I saw Zillow said it, this house was worth that. I said, did Zillow go through the house? Uh, no. Well, then how do they know based on not going through the house? Well, that, you know, that's what that's what they said. But you, So you have to have some common sense with it. Use it as a little of a tool. But a reference. You yeah, use exactly. it as a reference point. You take a look at things. You might gather information. But, uh, you know, listen, I mean, I'm still one of those guys. I mean, I buy sports equipment, socks, underwear, and some books and CDs, and that's what that's I That's what you're doing on the internet. Awesome. Search if, engines if you, are great. If you look enough online for what you're looking for, you'll find the answer that, that you want to hear. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm telling you 100%, man. I mean, you... Uh, if you if you Google buying a new house after foreclosure and you f- go through enough blogs, you'll find some blog that says, "Yeah, you can buy a house with a with a, with a three hundred and fifty credit score, zero down after a foreclosure." 
Yeah, without a doubt. My daughter comes to me the other day and says, hey, Daddy, I heard Justin Bieber went to jail. I said, no, I don't think he went to jail, honey. So I pulled it up. He should go to jail. <laughs> he did, he <laughs> didn't go to jail, but yet you did find down the line that says he did go to jail. So you're oh, right, okay. Alex. You can find anything. You put the answer or question in. I have nothing nice to say about that. <laughs> like I said, good vibes this morning. <laughs> two, four, <laughs> two, four, yeah, thanks good. a lot, Canada. Let me throw out the number, gentlemen, again. 248-539-9797. Looking forward to hearing from you again. Just our second show into 2014. We're excited for the up-and-coming year. If you're professional realtor you'd like to come on the show and build a relationship with us definitely give us a call at the office uh we've got some unbelievable uh relationships over the last year or so and again dealing with the professionals it is the only way to fly nowadays again we talk about how do you even find a house yard sale signs are still great ways and word of mouth finding out from a relative hey when you're looking in an area hey we just saw a sign go up down the street. These are still the old-fashioned ways to purchase a home. Old-fashioned works very good a lot of the time. Ten years ago, for sale by owners were prevalent. You'd see them all over. They're very, they don't see them. They're pretty scarce these days. The, the deal for sale by owner. Why is, is that? What do you think? Well, I, I think that people are starting to realize that for sale by owner, why are they putting that? Why are they not hiring a professional? Uh, because, because they, they don't save, want to pay for because it. Because they want to save money, which also means they're probably overpriced. I would say 90% of the for sale by owners I see are overpriced, yet they're trying to save that 3 or 6%. Um, and don't get me wrong. Some people can do it, and they, they have, be successful with it. But I'd rather have 6,000 agents in the community trying to bring a buyer as opposed to you hoping someone comes, one person comes by on a, on a phone call. Great point. Definitely. I mean, is that how many agents are roughly around the southeast? Yeah, about 6,000? So, something like that. Okay. We, we can get rid of 5,580 of them. Maybe half of them, right? <laughs> first-time buyers out there. The market share for first-time home buyers actually declined in 2013. Now, it didn't decline by much. It was only declining by 1%. But historically speaking, the first-time home buyers are instrumental in the housing recovery. And we definitely need first-time home buyers out there. If you're getting, well, if you got a great job out there, if you're currently renting, if you're thinking about getting out of mom and dad's house, not now would probably be a great time. Again, interest rates still at all-time lows, and prices still relatively under where they were if you even went back to 2006. Here regionally, it's different. Across the country, some of the prices have actually shot up and are over where they were at the, well, in the Vegas housing Vegas came booth. back huge. What well, did, oh, yeah. Vegas yeah, came back. Lots of the ones that, the, 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 we, yeah, the article in the yeah, meeting last Tuesday, exactly. the, the ones that were hardest hit are the ones that, that, came, that back came back the, the quickest, most, which right. is nice to see Detroit, you know, in, in the tri-county area well, in that wheelhouse. Well, Michigan was in the top five, okay? Now Michigan's uh, down to number eight or nine. Or when I say that, I, I, and we, were, we were hit hardest. So the, the places, like Alex said, California, Nevada, Michigan, Arizona, and Florida, okay? Top five. They're all now... Trending back toward, you know, 10, 9, 8 in that range. There are other foreclosures are down in the area, REOs, bank owned properties, yeah. those sales are down. Uh, and, and that's good. And so what you're seeing in our area, our area's picked up tremendously. All right. It's a tremendous time to buy a house. We talk about rates every single day, every hour of the day in the office. It's really not about rate. Rates are at mid 60s levels, you know, 4.5% on a 30 year fixed. All right, three and three around quarters, there. three and yep. five eighths on a 15-year fix. When we say around, that's ballpark numbers. But you're talking about, you know, mid threes and mid fours for interest rates? Come on. What confuses me, what is your option? You have to live somewhere, right? So right. you're either going to be a renter or a buyer. And you look at the numbers when you're a renter, you are paying absolutely probably 25, 30, 40 percent higher than you would in a mortgage. You would know better than anyone, Dan, in Royal Oak, yeah. But investors are buying these places so they can cash flow. So it's, it's amazing to me that if you have the ability to get a mortgage and you choose to rent, you're Throwing money down the drain. Definitely. Nearly 9 out of 10 buyers actually financed their house with 5% down last year. So you don't need 20% down. Call Capital Mortgage or here on the show. We'll give you all the details on how easy it is to become a homeowner. We've got lots to share with you. Let's try Dan out there in Dearborn. Good morning, Dan. You're live on the ticket. Dan, what's morning, up? guys. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. How, are you? how are you? Good. Hey, I, my question is I completed a short sale 28 months ago. Credit's back up to where it needs to be. Um, and I'm trying, I'd like to buy a new house, but um, credit union I've been working with said I need four years. I just wonder what the new regulations are regarding short sales and when you can qualify for a new mortgage. Well, I mean, it's actually three years. There's a couple intangibles that go into that. Um, what was the reason for the short sale? Divorce. Divorce. I mean, yes, you hit a rough patch. I mean, you know, 28 months after a short sale, you, you, I don't think you're going to get I mean, a credit union may do it because they have different guidelines. And they can, you know, they can do whatever they want. But I don't see you getting a, a, a conventional or FHA deal for at least 36 months. You're not too far away. I mean, that's the thing, Dan. Three years, 36 months. You're only a few months away. You'll be a buyer this summer. Yeah, exactly. I was 
hoping to get like pre-approval and then uh about two months the before anniversary comes around in august that we could close on a deal yeah you'll want to we'll definitely want to get in touch with you about the end of june we'll get you started maybe even a little bit sooner just to take a look at the credit make sure everything is uh done the right way get your ducks in a row we like about uh three months before you're interested in closing or when you're able to is probably when you'd want to meet us it's a great call because we'll look forward to having you as a client thanks for the call i'll clap for the show dan thanks man all right, 248-539-9797. We always take your calls here on this show. Again, we got Dan Dubinsky in from Skyward Realty, always talking about purchase business. This is one of my favorite shows when we have a real estate agent on, really to talk about what's going on out there. Uh, Dan, we've given out a whole bunch of numbers. Still four out of ten of the buyers last year, uh, the first-time home buyers, used FHA financing. Still FHA, a great way to go, 3.5% down. Four out of ten first-time homeowners last year wow. used the FHA financing. Now they've got, and they've had it for the last two years, Alex, as you know, and Harry, of course, uh, the expensive MIP, this mortgage insurance premium. Yeah, FHA, you pay a little bit of a premium to go less money down. You you might have to go FHA because of different reasons. You might be getting gift money from a relative. Now there's some new programs out there. So now more than ever, you got to find out what program's best for you, especially because we've got this unbelievable great new program, 5% down. If you've got great credit, you can get a gift. So you don't have to. That was the the whole thing with conventional loans is you always needed to have some of your own money in the game. Now you can use 100% gift. We've got unbelievable opportunities. Just give us a call here, 248-539-9797. When we come back, all your calls. Robert Simmons here with a special LaFontaine Auto Show announcement. If your GM lease expires before April 30th, LaFontaine will pay up to $1,700 to terminate your lease now. And if your Cadillac lease expires before April 30th, we'll pay up to $3,000 to terminate now. So hurry to LaFontaine today and take advantage of the GM lease pull ahead now. Visit us on the web at thefamilydeal.com or call 866-LAFONTAINE. GM lease pull ahead and bonus lease loyalty cash ends January 31st. See dealer for complete details. Is your business laying people off? If so, there's something you can do. Did you know that the state of Michigan has a rapid response team that can help your employees understand all of the resources available to them? They will explain to your employees how to apply for unemployment benefits, how to access the many Michigan Works career transition resources, and they can assist workers who are facing a layoff transition to an exciting new career. The Rapid Response Team will also meet with members of your management team to explain what can be done to turn business around, achieve financial stability, and take advantage of new opportunities. In some cases, the team may even be able to help you avert layoffs. You want to help those employees who have worked so hard for your business, and the Rapid Response Team wants to help you. For more information, contact 1-517-373-6234. Honey, are you okay? Ah, ah, yeah, it's just my knee knee pain. pain. Yeah. When are you going to get something done about that? Look, I am too young to be having a complete knee replacement. Yeah, well, you're too old to be Ah, screaming ah, like a ah. four-year-old. Finally, there's an answer for those under 60 with knee pain. From the advanced orthopedic team at the DMC. Not knee replacement, but macoplasty partial knee resurfacing. Now at DMC Surgery Hospital in Madison Heights and DMC Huron Valley Sinai Hospital. Minimally invasive for reduced pain, shorter hospitalization, and quicker recovery. Get your life back. Macoplasty Minimally Invasive Knee Resurfacing at DMC Surgery Hospital, Madison Heights, and DMC Huron Valley, Sinai, and Commerce Township. If I could just make it to the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Get your life back. Learn about all your options at one of DMC's free joint pain classes. Call 888-DMC-2500. Always there. During the Randazzo Early Bird Savings Event, purchase a Lennox High Efficiency Furnace and save 50% off AC. That's right, 50% off. Plus, get up to $1,500 in rebates. Our customers find that replacing an old, inefficient heating and cooling system leads to more comfort, lower utility bills, and better air quality. For a free in-home estimate, give us a call today at 877-RANDAZZO or visit our website at callrandazzo.com. Know with a name you know, 877 Randazzo. News all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket.
Brought to you by the Hollywood Casino. Pistons get hammered at home by Utah, 110-89. Former Michigan All-American Trey Burke, 20 points, career best, 12 assists. Rodney Stuckey led Detroit with 21 Pistons at the Wizards tonight. 630 right here on the ticket. Michigan basketball today on AM 950. WWJ at 6 p.m. Michigan visiting number three, Wisconsin. Also tonight, number four, Michigan State is at the Illini. Red Wing Hockey tonight on CBS Sports Radio 1270. Wings get the Kings of the Joe. Trying to score a goal they are for the first time in three games. American League Cy Young Award winner Max Scherzer signs a one-year deal with the Tigers for $15.525 million. He becomes eligible for free agency after the upcoming season. New head coach at the Lions, Jim Cobble, names Terrell Austin, defensive coordinator, and Bill Sheridan, linebackers coach. Both were assistants at Michigan, and they're still looking for an offensive coordinator. From the 1-800-CALL-SAM studios, I'm Jeff Lesson. For more, 971theticket.com. The station where you call the shots most of the time. Welcome back. We're in the second half of the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You can also shoot us an email at mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. We Our office is open all weekend long. Deal with the professionals. Call Capital Mortgage Funding. Refinancing. Still great opportunities out there, as always. If you're thinking about lowering the term on your loan, we've got terms between 8 and 30 years. You pick the term. This is nothing new, folks. There's lots of different ways to do your refinancing, but you got to go to the right place called Capital Mortgage. Of course, you might have one of those harp loans out there. Do you qualify? Call the experts, 1-800-LOW-RATE. Find out how you can save money. Lots of great opportunities still out there to refinance. We'll talk about some cash-out refinancing and consolidating debt here because, as you know, it's tax season. Winter taxes came out December 1st. You might need to set up a new escrow account. You might also want to, as you mentioned earlier, consolidate some of the toxic debt that you have. Use the equity. All our hardworking bookkeepers, accountants, and CPAs right now, they're getting ready for your deadline, the government-mandated deadline. Most people file, supposed to file, by April 15th unless you file an extension. All your CPAs, bookkeepers, and accounts are working right now. You need to get your documentation in order. So when you take it to them and you, they take that 1098 interest statement and said, oh, look, you paid $18,000 in mortgage interest. Why don't you try consolidating some of your revolving debt that you can't write off anymore? Okay, may, you have some appreciation in your home now. That might be a good play. Refinance your debt at four and a half, four and three quarters as opposed to 18 to 20%. Yeah, we I mean, still... You know, but but you have to have your documentation in order when you get together with your accountant. Make sure you do that now. Okay, just do it now. Prepare and then take it in. Let's Another go. great idea. Well, you know, it's snowy outside. If you don't have much going on, go in there, go in the closet, pull out all those pull tax all, things. Take that shoebox or receipts. Okay, whatever you got. Hey, we got John out there in East Point. Uh, good morning, John. Welcome to our show. Go ahead, sir. Morning, guys. Love the show. Long Thanks, time man. listener. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Appreciate it. A uh, question I have, I have a uh, free and clear primary residence in East Point, um, probably current value around $60,000. Um, I've got about $20,000 in debt between like a minivan payment, credit cards. Um, I need to pay uh, 401k back from uh, some money I borrowed to buy my primary residence. Um, am I at the point where it would make sense to take an equity loan out and pay down all that and just go with something like that in yeah, terms of I getting mean, a lower interest rate? I, I probably yes. would. I mean, I'd like to see you take maybe a small home equity line for, for a couple of reasons. One, anytime you pay off a, a, a debt, it's like seeing your return on that money of whatever interest rate you're paying on that. So, for example, if you have a credit card and the balance is $5,000 and the, the interest rate is 15%, when you pay that $5,000 off, it's like seeing a 15% return on that $5,000. Does that make sense? Exactly. Yeah. Um, right, it, ma- it makes total yeah. sense. Now, am I wrong when I say it's – it's? Um, I, I, I'm probably wrong, but is it wrong to pay it, all that debt totally off because doesn't it hurt your credit when you're paying everything off? No, 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 not no, in your no, case. No, not well, in your well, case because you probably have a great credit history and you've made payments on that. You, you know, your credit history is established. Uh, it, it can only help you, and, and you're going to save a lot of money that way. You're taking the okay. interest in making it right, tax well, deductible as well. Yep. So, I mean, you're, you're scoring and, all over and, the place. And is it just like a checkbook type situation? You're getting a checkbook? Or yeah, how, that's how, that's, how that's that exactly what you're going to get, man. Yep. Yeah, you get a checkbook and you just write checks against the, the equity in your home. Yep, you want a checkbook line of credit. So, 
show. Okay. I'll talk right. to the show, I'll uh, give you guys a call then and uh, go from there. You got Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Sure. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, also, what's cool about that, of course, you turn a home equity loan or a, a first lien uh, mortgage if you want to do a 10-year fix. Take a look at that because now you turn all that debt into a tax deduction in most situations. Great opportunities out there to save money. Well, also, one of the things is that mortgage rates eventually will go up. And, of course, that means rates on other things will go up, Alex. As you know, credit cards then will go up. And no more of that 0% balance and people moving money from one credit card to the other and, and playing the game. Now could be that time as you got the appreciation, you got the low interest you're rates. playing with fire if you're doing that. Man. Exactly. Yeah, but, but people play that musical chairs with those credit cards. You, you guys know, understand that. It's going like, to end, so you got to take care of it You guys soon. understand that when, when those credit card companies roll those offers out, like, you know, X percent back on gasoline, X percent back on groceries, you know, they, they change that. Every month. Like, I got sucked into that trap. Like, oh, I'm getting 5% back on gas. And all of a sudden, there was no more 5% back on gas. It was just the the, the, the one-month promotion. All right. So, it's like if you're, if you're playing that game, man, it's like you, you're going you're gonna to get burned. You Pick a credit card. You know, pick a place to live. Make a decision and stick with it. Cash out. Do. Right. And, of course, cash out refinances. It's always been a great way to use your house. Again, some people got a little carried away with it because of the high appreciation we had. That The crazy early days of 2000 and 2004 when you bought a house for $100,000. It was worth one fifty. It was guaranteed I mean, to go up 7% guaranteed a year. every year. So families were pulling all the equity out. You got to be careful. You got to play it safe. Deal with the professionals. That's what I'm saying. You can't deal with the 22-year-old kid. He was, he was 10 years old when this was going down. Come on. 248-539-9797. <laughs> I got Ken out there in Detroit. Good morning, Ken, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Hi, Ken. No What's up? My question is, I'm a real estate investor, and I used to do flips before the market kind of went south. And, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's hard to do that if you're dealing with the city or even cities like Hazel Park, uh, you know, Oak Park. Some of those values had not come back up as as quickly. Is there anyone doing mortgages for $30,000 homes or houses that's under $50,000? Sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's, it's tough out there to find them. I know a lot of the credit unions are doing them and such, and there's definitely some opportunities out there. Hey, do you own a few now, Ken? Yes, I do. I, I got a couple still in the city I, had, I held on to just, you know, because they were pretty good houses, and I didn't want to let them go. But some of the other ones I, I, I just let go because, oh, like you I said, just, it was just, you, you just let there them was go? no money in them at the time. But I'm getting ready to start, and I'm looking to oh, buy boy. more right now. Well, I, Ken, I hold on. How, how do you think you're going to get another mortgage if you, if you let houses go? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is I sold the houses at the time, and I didn't buy any more because I saw the market going down, and I like Got to it. flip. Now, now that it looks like the market is obviously rebounding, I was wondering, I don't want to start buying if I'm still going to hold on to them for a couple of years before they're you know, able to get a mortgage on them again because I don't want to really hold on to them. I, I, I gotcha. like to flip as both rent. Mm-hmm. I had a, I had a, I had okay. a guy in the okay. office here that was buying uh, properties in 2012, and he was buying Hazel Park, Oak Park. He was picking these things up for ten dollars to $15,000, throwing a little bit of money into them, and uh, running them out for $750 a month. He's got 25 what homes that? now. That's awesome. Yeah, and he, he says, you know, I thought it would be harder for uh, to try to chase the money in these uh, locations, but he said that they pay on time. is a great investment, and I don't know where those homes oh. are at now. I think they're probably in the 40, 45 range, I bet. So yeah. Great, great well, job. that's what I did. I got a house in Hazel Park and, and like I say, and a couple in Detroit, but I was just renting and holding on to them, waiting for the value to start to come back, and now I'm just kind of curious of when there'd be, you know, opportunities to start actually getting people to buy them again as opposed to renting them. So I'm pretty much in the same boat he was doing. Yeah, yeah. I think what you have to do is, uh, again, look at some of the local real estate agents in the area uh, and find out, get some comps, and see what see what they're moving for. Good job, Ken. Uh, okay. Good, yeah, good stuff there. All right, a lot of success stories out there. And, you know, you saw a lot of families out there. They were looking at their, you know, their, their stock portfolios and, you know, I had two, 300,000 sitting there. One month the report comes in, it's down 25,000. It's up. We saw quite a few families saying, you know what? Things are bad now. And, and that's when you buy, when things go down. So there were some opportunities there. A lot of families did or individuals take advantage and said, look, I want to become a landlord. I'm going to build a portfolio of rental homes. There are those success stories out there. All right, let's try this success story. We got Ed out there in Ann Arbor, wants to refinance. Good morning, Ed. Welcome to the show. Good morning. What's up? Um, morning, Ed. I'm a business owner in Ann Arbor, and I had a business line of credit through one of the community banks. I had a $1.2 million line of credit, and I was given a three weeks forbearance agreement back in September of 2009. And they also held my mortgage. And, and why, hold on, let me stop you there. Why did they give you the forbearance agreement? Were you not making uh, the payments um, on time, or did they, they just change the, the structure? From what I understand, they were on the watch list. I, I was in formula. I just got done paying a $100,000 line against it. It was just... It, it was just a bad scene from them. Okay, so they gave they gave you three weeks' notice, and that that's not uncommon. And uh, back in that time frame, but go ahead. Yeah, but they moved me into an asset based lending and jumped my interest rate from four and a half to twenty two percent. Okay. Yeah. 
Is and there? From what is, I understand from a couple couple people in the industry, that was pretty pretty illegal. They didn't tell me where all the interest rate was going. I think they still even held the paper to the asset lender. Uh huh. And you never got your business attorney involved in that. No, not at the not at no, yeah. Not um, and what about so what now? Are you gonna do? Yeah, what about now? Can you go to another community bank or is there a credit union that might uh, go ahead and switch oh, it? Oh, no, I'm, I'm all set now. I'm, I'm settled out now. I'm, I'm in great shape, okay. actually. So um, we survived that. But they moved me into a loan modification of my mortgage, but I didn't. Qual- now I don't qualify for a heart because I didn't put it through. Right, right. Mm-hmm. right. Fannie right. or Freddie, right. right. And I, I think in 2015 I have to refinance. Well, Ed, is, so going, what's the balance yeah. of the mortgage right now, sir? 420. 420. And what's the house worth? Um, I'm hearing like 570. Yeah, so you, you don't worry about HARP. It's a regular old school refinance. That's an easy deal, Ed. Oh, I, I get it. But being a business owner, right, it's it's just my well, FICO score is okay, but it's not good. And now the banks are playing games with that. Well, okay, so there's a couple. There's a couple intangibles there. First of all, if if, if, if your credit score is okay, like six eighty, I mean, you're still okay. Yep. I mean, that's not you know, it's not going to kill you. When you say you're you're a business owner, being self employed has nothing to do with getting a mortgage. If you don't pay taxes, that has, is an issue getting a mortgage. Yeah, no, everything was paid on time. Everything. Right. Would you, never, would never you, late. Ed, when you pay yourself, do you, do, you, do you claim what you really make? What's your what's your adjuster oh, gross oh, income yeah. on your 1040? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm a C corp, so I just draw a salary out of the company. Yep. But you, so, but you do yeah. pay taxes. You file a 1040. There's income oh, yeah. I can utilize Every, and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yep. that's a pretty straight-up deal, Ed. Let me call after the show, get some more information, and I'll see what I can figure okay. out for you. Thanks for the call, Ed. Thank yeah, you, definitely. Sir. You know, a couple things you mentioned there. And, and Alex, I like where you're going with it. He's got 2015. So if he didn't, and this is for anyone out there who's self-employed, again, right now, if you've got something coming up in 2015, make sure you get your 2013 and 14 tax returns done, showing you make enough income to qualify. Get your ducks in a row. If you got some credit to fix up, get that handled. All right, we got lots of tips for you. When we come back, 248-539-9797. Keep it here. And Bovada.net has your odds for the conference championships. The two top scoring teams in the league, led by their future Hall of Fame QBs, face off as New England heads to mile high as a four point underdog with a total in the mid 50s. These teams met in week 11 with Denver blowing a 24 to nothing halftime lead on the road to lose in overtime 34 to 31. Will the home field advantage and the altitude give Denver the edge? Bovada.net is your source for live odds and props on all major sports. Bovada.net, raise your game. The federal government has millions of dollars to help people pay for health insurance. And Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan makes it easy for you to find out whether you qualify. Simply text 4SUBSIDY to 222752. That's the number 4 followed by the word SUBSIDY to 222752. You'll be asked to answer a few questions, and Blue Cross will text you the subsidy amount you may qualify for. People who are eligible may see significant reductions in their health insurance premium, but people who aren't eligible for subsidies can benefit too by enrolling in a health plan directly and avoiding the government website altogether. Just text 4SUBSIDY to 222752 to start. Find out whether you're eligible for a subsidy. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan makes it easy. Simply text 4SUBSIDY to 222752. Normal data plan charges will apply. And please be safe. Never text while driving. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan and Blue Care Network are nonprofit corporations and independent licensees of Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. My husband says social drinking is part of business because it relaxes everyone. But when he comes home, he's not very relaxed. Almost anything will set off an argument. My sister is a psychiatrist. Even though my husband is too successful to be an alcoholic, she told me that I should try Al-Anon Family Groups. I didn't expect to find anyone in my situation there. I really didn't want to be embarrassed. I'm a very private person. It was actually a great relief to find people who had personal experience that meant something to me. There was nothing uncomfortable about that. I'm still a very private person, but Al-Anon members respect that. I can't get my husband to change his drinking habits, but I don't have to fight with him every night either. I was surprised at how quickly I was able to benefit from Al-Anon. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group meeting from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Last year, a billion dollars got left behind by people who did their own taxes. A billion with a B. 
Nine zeros, America. A billion dollar disaster. A billion reasons that your taxes aren't done until they're done with H&R Block. Get your billion back, America. At H&R Block, we strive to get you every penny you deserve. In a study of self-prepared tax returns, Block Tax Pros found more money for about one in five people. Each tax situation is different, and not everyone receives a refund. 97.1 The Ticket and Randazzo Heating and Cooling want to send you to Super Bowl weekend. We've got your tickets to Super Bowl 48 thanks to Bud Light. If you win, we'll fly you to New York. Check in to the Bud Light Hotel. Then you can kick off your weekend Saturday night, February 1st at Barclays Center with tickets to see a big hello to Brooklyn featuring the Red Hot Chili Peppers, New Politics, Miss Mister, J. Roddy Walston, and the Business, and Basic Vacation. Register now for your chance to win your way to Super Bowl weekend in New York. To enter, go to 97.1 The Ticket. Your home for the Lions, Tigers, Pistons, and Red Wings. 97-1, the ticket. to the show. We broadcast till 10 o'clock. You got it here on the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We're open to Capital all weekend long at 1-800-LOW-RATE. That's 1-800-569-7283. Right here locally. If you need that approval letter, be sure to give us a phone call. I know Becky's in there today. I think Dan Garrity's in there. Great people to talk to. I think to. Billy's in there. I think Larry Franklitz is around. Maybe. I think everybody's around. All right, good. We got a whole staff there for you. So make the phone call. If Whether you're looking to become a homeowner in the future or you want to consolidate that, definitely give us a call. It's a good thing you're not a radio guy, Dan. <laughs> yeah, good. No, Turn that button on. on automatically. Um, hey, a question for you. We got a buyer that's going to put an offer in a house today. The guy was in the uh, business. He worked at an automotive company. Just changed jobs about four months ago. Uh, s- similar field, but a new job. Um, what is the rule on that? But I seem to get conflicting information. Is he self-employed? No, he's not self-employed. He's a salary guy? Salary guy. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't be a problem. Doesn't matter. No problem matter. at all. It's okay. fine. It's su- there's such a misconception that you need, you know, six months on the job or two years on the job. If you're a salary W-2 employee... It's like thirty days most of the time. Yeah, I mean, it's, thirty days of income, my man. Yeah, thirty I mean, days. pay stub, and you know, I mean, you know, if you got to track if there's a big employment gap. But I mean, it's not. It doesn't make him ineligible by any means. Well, you're self-employed, but you pay yourself a salary. Well, it, you, hold on, you change the story now, man. This, you said this guy was was no, W two. No, that, that is, I'm saying, what if this guy is? That's. Well, if, if you're self-employed, self-employed you're different. self-employed. Even if you pay yourself a salary, you still right. need two years. You need, you know, if it's, a, you know, if they file 1120s, if it's an S-Corp, if it's a C-Corp, you still have to ver- verify all that information. And underwriters want to want to see a two-year average to make sure everything's good. We don't want, you don't want your neighbor going, you know, going belly up or something on his business. Oh, yeah. He can't cut his lawn. Right. He can't and, buy a garbage can for and that. And guidelines right. state that if somebody owns 25% or more of the company that they're deemed self-employed. Right. Gotcha. All right. Come and join the show. 248-539-9797. We'll go to Will out there in Detroit. Good morning, Will. What's going on? Hey, how you guys doing? Good Good morning, Will. I'm here this morning. Good, Good. thanks. Uh, I got a question. Um, I uh, just recently uh, retired from one career and uh, moving in another career direction. And basically, I took, you know, had some of my retirement and uh, cash cash deal on a good uh, home property for me and the family. And, um, you know, we had some uh, insurance difficulties with uh, with my employer and um, uh, the missus employer. So we're trying to play the catch-up game on some insurance, um, some medical billing, and some other issues. So I was trying to figure out what's the best route I could, you know, take uh, a small loan out or I don't know if you want to call it a, you know, a mortgage on the house that's, you know, that's paid for. So you want, you want to consolidate? Having, you know, I'm well, you, you want to consolidate the, uh, the 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 bad debt? Basically, yes, yes, yes. That's I mean, correct. In, in, if your credit's good and you qualify, yeah, that's definitely the best thing to do. Give you a fresh start. Okay. Well, actually, my, my score is not you know where it should be, but you know that would uh, that, that, that would be a purpose too. To that would prevent you from getting a mortgage there as well. But yeah, you it, know that's what equity I have to work with is a paid for house. Well, if you don't have good credit, it doesn't matter if your house is worth a million dollars. There's nothing I can do for you. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I mean, what I can okay. do for you is I can call you for the show. I can run your credit and tell you what you have to pay off or pay down and work with you until right. your scores are high enough to actually qualify for a mortgage. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. So, let me call you for the show, and I'll figure right. something out for you, man. All right, appreciate cool. it. Thanks, Will. See you, man. Bye. 
All right, 248-539-9797. You know what's been really cool recently is home remodeling. Home remodeling is up in a big time. And, again, do the proper things. Investigate it. Find out what you need to do to make your house sort of spruce it up. Of course, come springtime when uh, all the snow goes away, you'll be able to start working on your landscape. And curb appeal still at an all-time, probably one of the top three things to get someone even into the house. Of course, sprucing up your house, doing home improvements. Find out what you can do to make your house extremely marketable come this springtime. You'll get that few extra dollars out of it. On the other hand, sometimes we see families do the wrong thing. Research, getting professional people involved. And again, Dan, I like what you told us earlier. You call your local realtors. You you really got to get the barometer of what's going on in any particular, even let's say not even city, subdivision. Everything's really more, it's regional. It's not like, you know, it's a blanket thing. Like things are great. Things aren't great everywhere. Things are great in pockets and you got to make sure you do the right thing. So if you do invest some money in your home with a lot of home improvements, it's been rocking. Uh, home improvements. It's, it's so true. You have certain areas of certain cities that are uh, more desirable than others. Uh, you take uh, uh, Birmingham, for example. The uh, west side of uh, Woodward is typically more, uh, more uh, commands more money than the east side of Woodward. But there are pockets on the east side of Woodward as you go north. Uh, Berm- uh, Royal Oak, uh, north of Lincoln, south of Lincoln, east of Campbell, west of Campbell. Those are just things that you learn by being in that area and working that area over the years. Uh, can you become an expert by looking at uh, the comps? Uh, you can you can become somewhat knowledgeable about it, but there is little things, nuances that you have to know in certain areas. And, and knowing what's going to happen, maybe there's going to be a building, uh, a commercial building backing up to it. And that's why I try to read the papers in all the areas I work and see, even watch the commission meetings, the, the planning department, and see what's going on. Is that it. hotel going in? Uh, well, there's a couple hotels. Uh, is the one next to where the old Frizzard used to be? Yeah, yep, they've uh, got a, uh, a... Oh, on Main? Uh, yeah. On Main, oh. yeah, the uh, old Frizzard lap next yeah. to Main North Lap. So they have a, uh, I believe they now have a... Yeah. Hyatt is going to be running the... Yeah, the old Pioneer really? dealership up yeah. there north of 11 on yeah. the yeah. east okay, side cool. of the street. Friend hey, but Dan, mind. but isn't it true that uh, you're never going to get dollar for dollar out of the improvements that you put in? I mean, if somebody does some landscaping, they think they're going to get dollar for dollar out, or they, they want to build a man cave down there, and it's an elaborate thing, and somebody comes that's in... That's mean, just not as cool as that is, that's... <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's cool it's, for you and I, but yes, it might not be cool. It's, you're never going to get dollar for dollar because it's a lifestyle move. But but really, still, the biggest areas are kitchens and bathrooms, well, correct? Without a doubt. And I think part of the reason is because if you look, and uh, I've learned this over a long period of time, is the women are driving the show a lot of the time. Uh, the women will come and they'll, they'll say, I like this, like this, and somehow they'll get the husband to agree to it. So, hey, that's, that's what, what, always right. what do you mean somehow? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you mean like somehow? I'll leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> somehow. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety nine. If you ninety seven ninety seven, if you want to sneak in your phone call, I'm going down the Red Wings game tonight. See what's going on down there, gentlemen. I don't know what you got going on, but well, I'll tell you. Usually, hold on, usually I got I, I got to jump in. Usually, the women are right, at least in my relationship, <laughs> because if I got to buy whatever I wanted, it would it would I don't even want to, I can't even picture what it would be. It would oh, be like boy. some like. <laughs> Art Deco meets Boogie Nights, like some like, <laughs> shag carpeting. Like, just because you dress no, like that? that? <laughs> it, would just be, it would just be a gong show. The, uh, My wife's like, baby, the, that's not what I we like want. <laughs> <laughs> the million-dollar question, folks, of course, uh, has the uh, the housing you know burst and bubble? Has it recovered fully? Well, not quite yet, but there was an article that came out. Actually, Chief Economist Frank Nafter and Lee, uh, Leonard Kiefer attempted to answer this question recently in an article, Freddie Mac's U.S. Economy and Housing Outlook. They tried to answer this question. They They came up and said, basically, the economy and housing market, to be functionally normal, we need to see four positive indicators. And some of these have come true. A healthy jobs market, definitely. Unemployment, all-time lows, close to 7% nationwide. I know it's been pretty good here in Michigan. Uh, Unemployment has been down over the last few years. People are getting back to work. Also, mortgage, mortgage delinquencies are coming back to historical lows. Home prices are coming back to where they should be. And one other thing is the debt-to-income ratio. People that can actually move into your houses, they can well, afford them. Jobs always lead us out of an economic downturn. Job creation, jobs, people feeling good about themselves, real money, real savings, people, you know, people spending things on, uh, you know, like lifestyle situations, you know, furniture, the auto industry, electronics. When people start spending money, you see that. Home Depot right now, and this isn't a plug for Home Depot or Lowe's, but you go by those parking lots every day, and they're packed. All right, people are improving the places where they live because they feel secure. They're going to stay there. Okay. I go for the hot dogs. Right. 
<laughs> nice. I'm okay, yeah, great. No, and, and you probably do. But uh, they, I'm going to get salt, babe, and people, a hot dog. Yeah, people are going to stay in their ho- homes, and they're they're feeling good about their lifestyle right now, and they're spending more money, and that's what's going on right now. You hit on that. They're more secure in their in their job, knowing that hey, they're going to be there for a while. Um, and what we're finding now is, you know, we're obviously automotive dependent, but we're finding other fields. The medical field is huge here now. We have a yeah. ton of resident doctors moving into town. And a lot of them are staying. Uh, and other industries are popping up as well that are, are, are really helpful. I still think it's a great place to live. And again, it's not easy to say out there when it's about six degrees and uh, we're about 60 days away from even, uh, you know, getting a chance to see what spring might look like. But what do you mean? You don't like the winter change of season going from minus 27 wind chill to plus nine Fahrenheit? I, I got to say this. I actually you don't mind enjoy that? That's a change sports. of season. On. I haven't skied, snow skied recently, but uh, I'll tell you, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you got a lot of local hills around here. You can go up north. Are you north. still doing the two-man luge? <laughs> you know what, Alex? I got cut. I won't be this year. What is that? So she, I will not be making the trip out there this year. Sport. But thank you for following my no, bobsledding no career. I'd, I would do it with you. I'd be fine. How hard could that be? You and I could win that. He's got to hold on. <laughs> I used to think I would always have a career in that. There's four people. Maybe I'd be the guy in the middle, like the second or the third guy. I don't even know what they just well, the pusher. That, that yeah, would yeah, be the four I, man. It's not Alex. Yeah, it's well, a two okay. man. That's <laughs> yeah, okay. If you'd like to call Capital Mortgage, we have the office open all day. Welcome to the show. Go south. Oh, that was 955. <laughs> Be sure to call Capital. 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Like I said, we've got a full staff there. Also, we take your emails in mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. We've got Pat Caputo coming up with sports, hockey tonight. we got tons of stuff here. Keep it here on 97.1 The Ticket. We'll see you next Saturday. Denver beats New England. <laughs> My friend Dave has a question. Yeah, what's DTE Energy doing with renewables? Just so happens I have an expert here, Louisa from DTE Energy. Actually, Dave, DTE is committed to developing renewables here in Michigan. We're partnering with schools, businesses, and communities on solar installations to generate power. That's great. What else are you doing? We're taking a thoughtful approach, working in a variety of different areas to determine which technologies are most viable. Okay. What about wind energy? Wind is a big part of our program. DTE Energy is dedicated to wind as an ongoing way to serve customers. Did you know that soon we'll be able to power a city six times the size of Ann Arbor with wind energy alone? Those wind turbines are really cool, too. Think I could get one? Um, where do you live? Nice little high rise. Not too far from here. I don't think so. Uh, Well, if you have a question, just go to askdte.com to ask it. DTE Energy. Know your own power. Hi, Harry Glantz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, so what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. Look, if you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Capital Mortgage Funding is a proud division of United Shore Financial Services, NMLS number 3038, equal housing lender. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. No one markets your home more aggressively than me and my team. We spend more money on marketing your home in a single month than most agents spend all year. And that gets results. This is Realtor Jeff Glover. Want to see your home listed on the first page of Google, Zillow, Yahoo, or see your home for sale on a billboard? Those are just a few of the things we can do for you. But don't just take it from me. Hi, this is Mike Craig from Brighton, Michigan, and I called Jeff Glover when it was time to sell my house. And just like the ads say, he gave me a clear and concise plan to market my house, and he delivered on that plan. Jeff got me a great price for my house with no contingencies. That's money in the bank. Homeowners who sell their homes with Jeff get an average of 90 98% of their asking price and